I am 11 Level Code. This is Infinity and Zero. That's right. We're infinite beings. This, we sit here. This is our reference frame. And everything we think about, do, all our actions go into the past. Then they make their way around into the future. So whatever you're doing, you're putting into the past. Or eventually to the future. See, we live in the present moment. So we're not in the future, not in the past. So we want to stick to the present as much as possible. That's why it's about zeros and ones. And I just want to show you something. Let's just say we had the zero. And then we are the one. We're like workers, like so. We put the one there. Let's, say, let's just say now, we want to get to a singularity. So that's the first light worker. Then another one, these are rays of light. You keep putting these light rays in. What's going to happen eventually? We're going to end up filling that circle up. So it's going to go back to a pretty much a singularity. That's what zeros and the ones are about. We all zeros and ones. I feel we move. We don't move in straight lines. We move in circles. We're in a cycle. We've heard a lot of sounds. What goes around comes around. But really, for me, it's like if you look at infinity, then. And then you picture us, we're this, yeah. We put that in there. That's our reference frame. So if we think about do, it's going in here. In this side, baby. Eventually, it's going to come from this side and make it into our future. So we see it. It's very powerful. To think of it even like this. So let's just say you had. An hourglass, you got all the things all falling through, isn't it? You never want to let one side run out. So you're going to revolve it around, moving in circles. That's how our life works. Whether your thoughts are good or bad, they're going to go in, they're going to go around, and you're going to see them. That's why. Law suggestion, suggesting out loud words. Be careful wherever you suggest about yourself, about the world, about anything really. Be careful what you say and on your actions. That's the law of attraction as well. So your thoughts, your feelings, what you're putting in there, eventually it'll end up in your future. That's how I see infinity and zero. And I feel this infinity consciousness is ours and is even. I call that a collective. So we've got our own separate consciousness and there's a collective consciousness. So whatever we singly think goes into the collective consciousness. And above that, maybe, it could be a divine consciousness even higher than that which we can, if all our single consciousnesses agreed on the same thing, we go into collective, that'll all agree, then maybe then we could entertain to see if there is this. Until then, who knows, but I'm living my life like this is my reference frame. And I know I'm dictating my life with what I think and what I feel and what I do, because it's all going in here. Eventually it'll end up in here. As you know, it goes around. I was wearing phones on my hand, moving in circles. Well, that's my interpretation of infinity and zero. I hope you enjoyed the video. Got any comments? Help me out a little bit, even. I appreciate that. And any subscribers? I am in Level Code. And I love you all.